Hello, and welcome to the April Evernight Unboxing. We're, uh, we're a little behind on uh, our books here, but you know what? It's not too terribly into May. So here we have uh, Murder Road, I believe. Yes, Murder Road by Simone St. James. Uh, it takes place in the 90s. It's about a couple uh, who's going on a little road trip and while traveling uh, down this stretch of highway, they uh, a deserted road, I should say, deserted road. They stop to help a hitchhiker, uh, only to find that the hitchhiker is bleeding profusely and, uh, well, dies. And uh, it seems that there is a string of individuals dying uh, on this road, on the murder road. And apparently, with them being the only witnesses of sorts, uh, they are, I guess, the only suspects in the investigation. Which sounds very interesting. I heard that it, it's, I mean, it sounds like it's like a like a thriller noir, but obviously there's some supernatural twists to it, and uh, we actually have some supernatural horror in there. So, of course, uh, the book design itself has a new artwork by Dan Fries. Uh, with a jacket designed by Holly Dunn Design. Uh, Dan Fries also did the sprayed stenciled edges here. I'm liking the style of this. This, this feels like, I mean, it feels cartoonish, like a, like a comic book in a way. But it's very, very unique. Um, and then Holly Dunn Design. Let's, let's pull out the full jacket there, Dan Fries's jacket. Kind of getting some Mallory vibes by it. Not Mallory, uh, Daphne. Daphne Vibes by Josh Mallerman. Hopefully better than that, because I thought Daphne was not a good novel. Um, so we have nice little PLC boards. Very nice. Showing almost a map of the area of Cold Lake Falls uh, with Holly Dunn's design. Uh, then we have uh, Simone... Simone Danja, I believe her name was. Uh, Smid Illustration, who did... And paper artwork as well, which has also kind of a uh, nice little cartoonish, comic booky style to it. So, Murder Road. I have not read anything by Simone St. James. My first uh, first title by her. Of course, it is signed by the author there as well, which is fantastic. But uh, we have different. We do have different end papers. Cool. So they didn't just repeat the end papers. And kind of a spooky Polaroid going on in the corner there. Um, so yeah, I like. Is the text really big, or is that just me? I don't know. It feels like I'm reading a large print book, but that's fine. It means it'll be a very quick read, <laughs> if that's the case. Uh, it's easy on the eyes. You know, I like reading some good supernatural thrillers, supernatural mysteries. Uh, so, very intrigued to dive in. Like I said, uh, the whole ghost haunting thing kind of reminds me of Daphne. Uh, by Josh Malaman, which was about a ghost, the titular Daphne, who, uh, when you thought about her, she would come and kill you. And that was not a that was not a great read. I did not enjoy that. I do a book review, more of a rant, really, on the channel where I talk about Daphne and uh, the disappointment that I had here. This does not seem to be the case. This is not. It's not like a think about her and you die. But I mean, there must be some sort of ghostly woman behind it all. Some sort of supernatural uh, terror or at work, uh, at work here. Very intriguing. Uh, of course, I still need to read the other two Evernight. Two? Silver Nitrate. Last to leave the room. Is there a third one? I think it's just two. I've the last two Evernight titles. I think this is the third Evernight. Or I could be mistaken, and I just... I'm completely forgetting my other books. Those are the only two that are coming to my mind, though. Uh, so I have a little catch-up to do. But once I do read it, I will do a book review here on the channel. Uh, so please consider subscribing to check that out. I do do at least one book review a week on Tuesdays with plenty of unboxing videos in between here and there uh, to keep you entertained. So plenty to, plenty to watch. Um, Evernight is a quarterly subscription from Illumicrate. Uh, so every uh, three months we get a book. I said this is the, uh, hmm, the, they have an unguided read-along starting at the end of May. How about that? Uh, so this is the April title. I'm just now getting in the start of uh, May, but it's shipping from overseas. So, you know, you get a 
factor in a couple little uh, days there for that. Uh, there is a wait list for the Evernight subscription. So if uh, you want to join that wait list, the link in the description below where you can join that wait list. Or you can just live vicariously through me in the meantime. Subscribe to the channel. I will continue to unbox these every quarter as I get them. Plenty of other subscription boxes on the channel that I get as well, such as the Thornwill Press uh, box or the... Uh, uh, Twisted Retreat box and the well, Twisted Retreat book only box, and of course uh, the Broken Binding fantasy box. So plenty of unboxing videos on the channel for you to check out. Uh, so check out Lumacrate, check out Evernight. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you around next time.